Every time a new Targaryen is born, the gods toss the coin in the air and the world holds its breath to see how it will land. You see, inbreeding is as ancient and well-maintained a family tradition as riding dragons is for the Targaryens. As far as the Targaryens are concerned, the upsides of inbreeding are obvious. Not only can the family bulk buy the same peroxide-friendly shampoo, they also keep their power and the ability to ride dragons concentrated rather than dispersed. It happens over and over again deliberately and accidentally. In the prequel House of Dragon, we get to see Daenerys Targaryen's ancestors and how tangled their family tree got. I did a video untangling it all which you can check out on my channel. And in this video, I'm going to continue where we left off to create Daenerys herself and see how inbred she actually was. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here on Mortal Faces, I untangle inbred family trees as well as see how individuals we read about might have looked in real life by recreating their portraits. So thank you for watching, subscribe for more trees and recreations, and let me know in the comments who you want to see in upcoming videos. Last we left off were the two children of Rhaenyra and her uncle Daemon Targaryen from the House of Dragon. They were Aegon III and Viserys II. Aegon III was the seventh Targaryen king to sit on the Iron Throne. After Viserys I died, Rhaenyra was named heir, but her half-brother Aegon II and his mother Alicent stole it while she was away trying to give birth. This led to the War of Succession known as the Dance of the Dragons. Spoiler alert, both of them die and the crown goes to her son Aegon III. At 11 years old, he married his 8-year-old cousin Jahera, but she dies of suicide, so then he marries Daenerys Valerian. Who is she? Well, remember Corlys and Rhaenys from my previous video? Well, Corlys had another brother whose great-granddaughter is Daenerys. Aegon and Daenerys have five children, and it is Dana who had a child with her first cousin, Aegon IV. Let me tell you what happens. Aegon III dies, then the crown goes to his son, Darren, who dies, then it goes to his other son, Baylor I, who, to no surprise, dies. His side story, though, is actually quite funny. You see, he married his younger sister, Dana, but refused to consummate the marriage. She wanted to consummate it, so chose to wear white to embarrass him. Turns out, he liked her in white, thought she looked more innocent. Anyways, when he died, it could have been poison or natural causes, we don't know exactly, except his uncle Viserys II becomes the next king, but reigned for only a year before he died and his son took the throne. This son was Aegon IV, and he was a bad king. Another Henry VIII inspiration, he was athletic and good-looking at the beginning, but became so fat he was immobile and covered in feces by the end. He had at least nine official, plus some more unofficial mistresses, and never legitimized their children until his death, resulting in the start of the Blackfire rebellions. His official wife was Nerys Targaryen, his sister. So the sister wife had two surviving children with her brother, and they were Darren II and Daenerys. Daenerys married Marin Martell. Marin was the ruler of Dorne, the last of the seven kingdoms to be subject to the Iron Throne. Ever since the other six kingdoms were in control by the Iron Throne, after Aegon's conquest, which I mentioned in the beginning of my previous video, Dorne has always refused and was never conquered. So hundreds of years later, after the other six were conquered, we are here, where Daenerys married Dorne's ruler, Marin Martell, and Darren II married Marin's sister, Mariah Martell. The four brother-sister-sister-brothers unite the lands peacefully with this double marriage. Darren's sister and Marin will continue to do their own thing in Dorne, as usual, but Darren and Mariah have four children, and it's Maker the First who becomes the next king after his older brother, Ares, dies. You see, throughout his reign, Ares acknowledged four different heirs. First was his brother Rhaegal, who died when he choked on a lamprey pie. Ares next acknowledged Rhaegal's only son Aelor as his heir, but Aelor died during a mishap caused by his twin sister and wife, 
Alora. So Aerie's third heir was Alora. However, she was mad with grief following her brother's death and committed suicide some time later, leaving Ares to recognize his fourth and last heir to the throne, his younger brother, Makor. Makor married an outsider, Deanna Dane, from Dorne, and they had six children. Her first was Darren, but he died young. Aaron was mentally unstable. Aemon didn't want it, so Aegon V got it and became the 15th Targaryen to sit on the Iron Throne. He married another outsider, Betha Blackwood, and they had five children. Duncan gave up the throne for love to a peasant. Darren wasn't interested in women, and Rael married Ormond Baratheon, a descendant of the House of Baratheon. The Baratheons, you'll also see in my previous video, are connected to the Targaryens way, way, way back. So it's nice to see families coming back together, literally. But it's their grandson Robert who we will see in the Game of Thrones TV series that takes the Iron Throne, ending its rule from the Targaryens. Then with the last two siblings, Shara and Jaehaerys, they were actually supposed to marry outsiders, but followed their older brother's example and married for love. But the twist that we're used to is that they loved each other. They secretly wed, then consummated their marriage before their father, the king, knew about it. So when he found out, he had no choice but to accept it. They had Ares II, the next king, and Rhaella. The two siblings married, but their marriage was not a happy one. You see, Ares was known as the Mad King, was kind of insane, a trait that other Targaryens inherited and was very paranoid. Ares' insanity and tyrannical ways resulted in an open rebellion from houses Baratheon, Stark, and Aaron, followed by further rebellions. In the end, House Targaryen fell from power entirely. He was killed by his own men and first cousin once removed Robert Baratheon now got the crown, ending nearly 300 years of Targaryen rule over Westeros. Ares II and Rayla had three surviving children. The younger two, Viserys and Daenerys, during the sacking of King's Landing, fled. And that's where their story begins. Their older brother Rhaegar died during Robert Baratheon's uprising, and his family ended up dying as well. However, according to the show, he had a secret son with his second wife, Lyanna Stark. And that hopefully ties everything together regarding Daenerys and the history of the Targaryens. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't, you can check out part one where I go through her ancestors from the House of Dragon. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more family trees. I also transform how historic individuals might have looked in real life by recreating their portraits. Each of your subscriptions has helped this channel grow. It allows me to continue making more content for you. Lots more on my channel. Let me know who you want to see in upcoming videos. I do make a list of our suggestions and I will see you in the next one.